All right, now we're doing AQ Calculate Average. This is by Weichu, and 89% of the people like it. We're gonna write a function which calculates the average of the numbers in a given list. Empty arrays should return zero. All right, so for this one, we're gonna say const here to make this the concise syntax. We're gonna say find average equals array, and then we're gonna turn the rest of this into an arrow. Down here, we're gonna say console.log, so we can test it easy. And then we're gonna start right here. Uh, so for this one, we're gonna use the reduce method, uh, which the reduce method executes a user supply reducer callback function on each element of the array in order, passing the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. And the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. And perhaps the easiest to understand case for reduce is to return the sum of all elements in an array. All right, so down here we're going to be using the arrow function syntax uh, with a reduce and then previous value, current value inside parentheses. We're going to have an arrow right here and then also the expression we're going to use. So down here we're going to say array dot reduce and we're going to have prev for previous and cur for current and then we're going to do this and we're going to say prev plus cur. Let's see what this does first. All right, it gives us three on this one. One, two, three. Now we've got to find the average of it. So we're going to divide that by array dot length, right? Now let's test this out again. See what it looks like. And then one, that's what we're looking for. Uh, so let's uh, test it out. Let's get out of here and uh, see if it works. Test it out one more time. Attempt it. Uh oh, what's up with this? Could it be that empty array needs to equal zero? All right, so since that's the case, we have to do something here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these ternary operators, which is the only JavaScript operator that takes three operands, a condition followed by a question mark then an expression to execute if the condition is truthy, followed by a colon, and finally the expression to execute if the condition is falsy. This operator is frequently used as an alternative with if-else statements. That's what we're going to use it for, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to say right here, if array.length is greater than zero, question mark, we're going to do this. Otherwise, we're going to have zero. Now let's test this out, see if it works. Looks good. Attempt it. And there we go. Awesome. So submit it. And now we've got this right here. Uh, looks pretty much like this, what we did. Yeah, that looks exactly like what we did. Uh, this one's using an if statement to take care of the edge case. And then uh, it's using a for loop to take care of the... Uh, what is it taking care of? It's doing the reduction that we did, but it's just, you know, adding them all together. And then it's doing the result divided by array.length. So just the long way of what we did. So let's go over here to mine. All right, just me here. Best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.